All right, on board. So, I'll take you down into the captain's room. It's at the back of the boat. Some sort stuff here. There's my bed. Oh, nice big bed. It's gonna be nice to sleep in this. All the wood, all the mahogany, or yeah. teak, uh, Got some store spaces there. sense to have it like that <clears throat> lots of uh, windows for air circulation uh, antenna tuner a lot of stuff I gotta look up I just figured out how they got basic power going uh, there's your UHF uh, weather suit tools uh engine bay in there nice volvo engine show you that guys later this is the uh, electronics layout so there's my voltage meter for solar power and all my switchboards um don't know if uh, fresh water is working right now salt water pump is on don't know if i want to use a water maker yet I want to look that shit up. Fire that stuff up. Here's my power banks. I don't think I've got my wind moving yet. So I gotta figure out how to get that going. Uh, laptop. Uh, nav. It's gonna be awesome using that. Uh, what is that? What, 1400 watts? Autopilot. Yeah, this is the internal uh, helm, so that's where you're looking out. Yeah, I got my canvases up to keep the sun in, uh, sun out, which is actually really working very well. It's uh, quite comfortable in here. And uh, down in the uh, captain's room, it's really nice and cool. And down in here is the, the kitchen. Alley. So, your stove and your, these are your fridges. Uh, storage. Wash sink over there. Um, more storage, pots and pans, lots of good stuff. A uh, place to hang out. Oh, yeah, there's a place to hang out here as well. Um, so, I mean, people can sleep on this. So essentially that's another bunk. The kitchen table, it actually rotates to allow you access to the galley, do your cooking. And uh, I guess that locks you in place on stormy days. So that's cool. This is the V-Birth. Don't mind the stain, that's just water. So it's just uh, in here, wet hands. So that's the V-Birth up front, storage spaces spaces um, there's fans and windows fresh air um, that opens up which allows air to just come fucking barreling through uh, I just went through the bathroom there is a shower although it needs a shower head but uh, yeah there's a shower in there so that's good uh, toilet there you go there's your bath toilet and sink and the shower head is right around the side of the door it's right up there so that's the inside uh, this all opens up the engine bay is right here so uh, this opens up 
and uh, you got access to your engine. I'll show you the upper deck in a little bit. It's hot right now, but here's the gist of it. There's your main helm, a couple of uh, benches on the back for people just hanging out. It's gonna be nice, man. That's like six people sitting back there. Uh, captain's helm needs reupholstered, but that's okay. I got a bimini up. Keep the sun off. That's good. Um, I'll show you the upper deck later, but it's got all grip on the on the the deck, so, so no slip paint. Oh, I guess you can see it from here. The electric windlass. Yeah, this thing's ready to rock, man. So. A lot of fucking work I gotta figure out all this electronic stuff before I run out of power. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get that windless or that uh, wind generator up and running. Pilot, have cabin electronics on pilot SSP. So only up in commissioning. Okay, I'm going to give you a rundown of the startup sequence and then uh, I'll show you a few things on the uh, on the aft so um, yeah there's a kill switch in here underneath the cutty you know, the control panel so you just uh, you lift that I think you lift that and then you come up onto the panel and Okay, so your systems are armed. And then you just hit start. Okay. So, and push that in. Then you hit start. Okay. Well, so I've already, I already warmed it up. So the gauges of uh, they're all okay. Um, then in here, that's your, um, your water pump. Yeah, it's nice and quiet on deck. Let me do this without dropping the phone in.
Okay. So that's the uh, that's the water coming out from the uh, yeah, water pump, and this uh, I fixed yesterday. The uh, two wires there on the runner. <clears throat> I took some of the slack out of the uh, the wires here and uh, fed it down the line so that I had enough to uh, reconnect the cables and then I went out and uh, first stop actually right across uh, this was like not even across the it's just you can walk out the marina and there's a chandlery there and they had uh, double barrel crimps, which was what I needed because there was there was one left um, <laughs> just sitting on that bracket. The cable was already broken off, but uh, so I knew it was a double crimp. Um, so uh, they had them. So I got a four pack, so I got two extra ones. Um, so uh, yeah, I fixed the auto helm. Um, there's a pin you pull the pin and that will catch the wind there's no wind right now but uh, the rudder is set to the course and then this just uh, you know the wind will blow it back and forth and that relays down to the cables which uh, makes the there's a small rudder on the back of the main rudder um, so you lock your course in and uh, with the vane and then the vane when like when there's enough wind the vane will react and uh, it will move the rudder so if you're hitting a wave and the it goes out of uh, out of sync the the vane will go over and will force the rudder to pivot which will bring it back in line so um, not good for short distances like you wouldn't use that to get out of the bay right um, but once you're out on the sea like you could cross the Atlantic, you could you could essentially set your course with one of these things, um, set your heading with the GPS, come on deck, uh, steer your navigation point in with the heading, right? Uh, this is on a gimbal. Well, that's in a gimbal. Um, <clears throat> you get the boat on course. Uh, you would come back, lock in your vein, and I believe, uh, I believe undo the shrouds. I have to check the manual. Maybe, uh, I think maybe you're supposed to uh, undo the shrouds. Yeah. And then it, it will just keep on, keep on trucking down the, uh, the heading that you've set. So as long as you're on your GPS course, you can just check the map and the charts as you're going. Um, yeah. I don't want to run the engine for too long because I'm not sure how much diesel's on board. Uh, I'm going to take it out with Rob next weekend, I think. going to have enough courage. Um, yeah. So... Just turning the engine over, letting it warm up. Listen for any noises. Check the pressure gauges and heat temperatures and stuff. So they're all they're all good. Uh, she's constantly pumping water from the the ocean. Uh, I believe it's uh, it sucks the water out of the ocean, puts it into the uh, coolant system. Uh, like a separate coolant system and then it spits it back out again so if you don't have the you don't have this thing running 
you're gonna have some serious fucking problems because the water's gonna rise and then your engine's gonna fucking crack. If something horrible will happen. You gotta keep that pump on all the time when your engine's running. I haven't figured out the, the fridge. So I guess that's kind of the next thing. That's it. This uh, storm that's coming in. Like I said, it's uh, 100 miles off coast, 400 miles wide. So we're going to be in the band. Um, I think what's going on right now is that the storm is sucking the, uh, the local clouds into the weather pattern. Because there is kind of a, you can see like a weird pattern going on. But the intensity of it is not that bad, but like it looks like it's over there. But I'm not sure about my bearings yet, so I should probably get on that and figure out which way is uh, south. I think that is south. But that's where the sun has been setting, which means that that's west. So that kind of confuses me when I look at the map because I'm very good at map reading and chart reading. But for some reason, um, well, we're facing east. I believe we're facing east because we're, we're looking towards uh, east. That's the whole thing. I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know where north is. I north, I, I gotta I'm get assuming I guess this is a natural phenomena that occurs with hurricanes. Um, the calm before the storm. I think what happens is the, the well, there's a pressure change uh, down on the surface. It interacts with the pressure up top, so um, hotter temperatures cause circulation to increase, and uh, that hot temperature sucks in all the other cells, storm cells. Um, so this storm that we're going to get is uh, 400 miles in diameter, but we're just on the tail end of it. So like, well. No. Yeah, well, they're saying it'll be 100 miles offshore. So that means we're going to be inside the bands, but not uh, not right inside. So we're expected to get winds of 50 kilometers, which is this way when uh, rain starts to sideways. So I'm hoping that the storm is blowing from this side. But it really could come from it because it rotates. Um, but if it does come from this way, then I have the dock to, to absorb some of the winds. But like I'll get waves, like okay, get waves. It'll be uh, an inundation of uh, uh, heavier tides. Um, it'll last about four or five days. Um, but it looks like it's veering off, that's Savior. Um, but there's another one in uh, Costa Rica right now that's coming up the coastline. Um, it could hit here too. So we'll see what happens with this one. Um, this will be a good test for me because I don't want to be in a hurricane and you're not supposed to be, like, I'm, I'm going to weather this out on the boat. So if something goes wrong with the dock or the dock lines, then the boat's I'm, I'm on the boat, and uh, that's going to be hellacious. Um, I've got the engine, but that's only good for a little while. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring up the uh, electronic anchor and mount it in the cockpit here, so that if I do have to fucking power up, the engine, like if my ropes break or the dock fails or something, um, I can at least power up, um, hopefully get off, uh, run out somewhere between these guys, 
and uh, throw up my anchor down. Um, that's uh, best case, worst case scenario. It doesn't matter if I'm here or or at that point in the hurricane, you're by yourself. So these guys are anchored in. They look confident that they're uh, anchored to, like that guy's got a buoy. Um, that guy looks like he's just anchored. So, very, very nice day today. Um, the storm is about 100 miles off the coast, but it has a 400 mile uh, span. So we're still going to get hit with uh, increased water and winds, so a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and that's going to translate to waves and surge. So uh, we'll see how we do with that. Uh, Got to figure out what I'm going to do with the soda because I don't like that kind of stuff. So what I might end up doing is just uh, bringing it on board and lashing it on. Um, maybe right here. Maybe up front. Um, don't want to trade it for, you know, I would like to have it if I need it. I've got my emergency rod. got the second jib down uh, like the main jib the one out front uh, that one. Uh, had a lot of problems with it today I had to get somebody to climb up the uh, mast and do something with the halyard I knew it was this one but it wasn't moving so I didn't know for sure but I was right um, so I got that fixed so both my halyards are working um, got both the sails down there's a storm coming in that I'm supposed to be getting ready for I think it's a hurricane um, yeah so I'm just going to fold the mask put it, or fold the sail and put it away the other one's already down below so a good day's work but uh, a lot of hassles and it cost me 50 bucks to get it done but it was worth it so uh, I saw how he did the climb, so I'll revise it a little bit, uh, make it a little safer. I've got two harnesses, so uh, we'll figure that one out when it comes time comes. Hopefully not very often. Weather's eased up a bit for now. It's just cloudy. Um, had rain all morning. I still don't have my. <laughs> You know, like, uh, that's facing the east, but the sun sets over there. I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Cruisers are going out. So that's the second furling. So the one closest to the cockpit. First one I took down. Um, I'm going to put the one that's right on the bow on top. Just so we know which one's which. So that is furling number two. I'm going to pull in furling number one. So when we're putting this back on, going to bring that around and the sail's going to feed in up through here and that's going to clip onto the sail and then that will pull it up. Okay, keep in mind that the uh, the lines on the front, the 
these actually go over the edge when they're reinstalled until you get to the block. and then it comes in same on the other side so it's going to run along outside behind the shrouds and everything come back in here hit the block and then down the side There's only one of these lines for, a, uh, for each jib, so this is for number two, and this one is for number one. So let's go around here. But that's for the first one. So, the uh, laundry day. Just chucked a full load in cost 30 pesos to wash and 30 pesos to dry so that's uh three bucks no it's not even, I, I don't know up, uh 60 pesos yeah three bucks it's not bad it's okay could be better my math could be off i don't really care anyways to go for an ice cream. I haven't been down that Malacan in a while, so um, I'm just heading there now to the boardwalk. Great. Restain this. Just the uh, tops and the steps and the uh, panels. Uh, Restain this. And the uh, outers and the uppers all the way around. I'm gonna strip that shit off and repaint it. I've done this part. So that's your uh, deck step. So I've painted the outside of the top. Haven't touched the uh, backside yet or the floorboards in the captain's pit. These are your uh, deck or your door panels, so they're done on both sides. So I'm gonna do the ends, these parts just along the ends, the edges of uh, those three panels. They just uh, slide in place here, like ka chunk, ka chunk, ka chunk. See this uh, steel plate? The board runs in the steel plate. First one goes in, second one goes in, third one goes in. Um, you would use that on a stormy day if you're out at sea and it's raining. Or uh, if you're going into, uh, <clears throat> if you're going into uh, town or whatever, and then you would pull your fucking your deck slide over your roof. Get the map, it's dusty. I keep this open pretty much all the time. I never lock up the boat when I go anywhere. And that's the deck done. Hey guys. I'm drinking vodka. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, stain that and clean this out and then I'll stain it and I'll uh, show you guys it when it's done. Oh yeah, I did these little bits too, trims. Uh, I gotta go over this one, it didn't soak in enough. I mean, they could probably use a couple more coats. That's just a single coat, right? And uh, first time you fucking scratch it, you're back to uh, raw stuff. So um, I'm gonna get another can or two. Now I know what a can can do. I'm, I've still got lots, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, yeah, that's it for now.
such a fucking amazing life down here. I just wish I had people down here to share it. You know, it gets very lonely. It's peaceful and it's healthy. I'm, I'm healing. But uh, yeah, it gets lonely. When you have moments like this, you want to share with people. Like that. Did you see that? Double blow. Yeah, they're just bobbing up and down on the surface right now. the radio band on on channel 22 so I can call out uh, to them if I need to uh, get a ride or something or want to have them over for a beer <laughs> um, they gave me the channels for the Wi-Fi but I've got to get a booster um, which I can get on Amazon they gave me a lot of good hints about this place um, so that's good I haven't seen the dolphins yet, but it is that time of the evening, sunset, and they're coming for some fishies. And I'm out here having an Minerva. Man, I really like this beer. I'm gonna go into town tomorrow, and get another 5,000 pesos. And then I'm gonna hook up with uh, Cappy and get the uh, Zodiac off of him. Oh, I can't wait. Cause then I can like go downtown. I can go anywhere if I got a good boat. Um, and I wanna start using the yacht, but man, I fucking, I want somebody down here with me. Like I could go motor sailing, but um, there's a few things I need to get some boys uh, like the buoyancy things at the side uh, I need a few of those fixed um, and yeah I'd like to have somebody on board maybe I'll talk to Rob see if he wants to go out yeah I think I'll do that make arrangements with Rob see if he wants to go out on a weekend maybe this weekend maybe next weekend just to get out to see some of the basics right like I don't I mean, maybe we'll get the sails up. That'd be cool. Um, I'd like to get the motor running, take it for a run, get the uh, onboards systems up and running. See if you can help me with that while we're moving along. Um, maybe he'll show me how some of the sails work. Start slow, right? Um, so I'm a paper in the woods. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send him an email. Oh, there they are. Oh my god. Just like fucking clockwork, people. You see that? You see that? Man, that's awesome. The sun's blowing down on the water. I 
could do that. Wow. You know, change the exposure and everything too, right? Like that's kind of neat, but you dial it in, you dial it out. Wow. Learn something new every day. Where are you, babies? Thank you. 